Hi YouTube, a while back I had these sunflowers and I wanted to do a landscape painting so I found some reference online, this one for some poppy fields um, is a Tuscan landscape here and another Tuscan landscape here and my idea was just to bring them all together into one picture and I'm going to show you how I did that step by step so the first stage was to just simply draw the sunflowers from life and I just did this right in the foreground so I knew I could tuck the landscape in behind it like this. So you can probably recognise the rolling hills and things that I got from those images on the internet just to use as reference. I kept the lines simple because I want to do most of this with the actual watercolour paint. With more of my detailed work I shade everything in pencil as well at this stage before applying the watercolour. Um, but with looser landscapes and things I like to keep it simple like this. Okay, the first painting stage was just to get some blue into the background landscape and sky uh, and into the path as well that comes over the rolling hills. Then I added some fairly neutral greens in the background just to give a patchwork landscape effect. Next I added a violet wash in over the mountains in the background and I'm um, coming on to some of the patchwork landscape as I'm moving forward. I also used some violet to suggest some bushes in the background uh, and also some rows of lavender coming forward into the picture. Then I added some cobalt blue to add further stripes to break up some fields and also to add some sweeping shadows from a lot of the taller bushes and things. Then I added more green washes. Um, I was trying to get a good range of different greens in this. I wanted to make them look sort of more neutral in the background and also paler and then have stronger greens as I came forward in the picture. Um, so that's why I've started adding much more kind of yellowy greens. Okay, more cobalt blue stripes to break up the landscape in the foreground uh, and some more violet uh, in the flowers at the front to give a bit of texture. Another very yellowy green uh, wash on one of the fields and then a very strong grass green right coming towards us. Then I added some olive green in between all the sunflowers at the front as a filler uh, and a few more green bits here and there in the background. Then I used raw sienna just for the um, centres of the sunflowers. This is just the initial base colour. Then a strong cadmium yellow for the main petals of the sunflowers. Um, I used a lot of pigment here because I wanted them to be really vivid. Okay, then I added a watered down cobalt blue wash to the field in the foreground just to give an effect of shadow. I also added some green to the leaves of the sunflowers and then all of the um, in between the petals is done with a much stronger raw sienna. Then I started adding the main detail to the sunflowers in the foreground. Obviously this is your main kind of focal point so I really wanted these to have quite a bit of detail. So on the leaves of the sunflower you can see I've gone in with quite a lot of kind of stripes and things and tried to make the um, stems look like they've got hairs on. Um, and then just building up the textures of the seeds in the middle of the sunflowers uh, and just darkening slightly some of the um, bits in between the petals. Okay, then building up the more shadowy parts of the sunflowers at the front. So lots of violet in between the sunflowers to give an effect of shadow. Um, and then the very darks are done with um, sepia. And you can use the sepia with lots of pigment in it. So it's fairly thick and it feels, you know, you can feel the, um, the thickness of the paint. Lots of pigment in there. This next stage was about trying to um, make our secondary focal point stand out a bit more. So the little house in the background, um, I've gone in and put some washes on that to darken it up. Um, I've also darkened all the um, trees that surround that house. Uh, and then just further kind of purple shadows that sweep across the landscape um, throughout the whole image. Okay, I really wanted to give some extra contrast in the foreground. And obviously I'd already planned to put some poppies in um, for my original reference. So just these splashes of red really help and just having a few kind of dark stems on the poppy and that kind of thing. Okay, and you can see I give it a good uh, kick of contrast right at the end just by adding a nice strong dark branch uh, in the bottom right hand corner. Some extra um, bright red poppies. Uh, and you can see I filled in a, a white patch with a, a little bit more of a bush sort of in the middle distance as well. 
Okay, I'll leave you with this very satisfying quick run through of all of the stages again. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please check out my other painting videos and tutorials that I've done on YouTube and um, hit subscribe to see anything new that I post up in the future. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next video.